The government should return that idol. Of course! At least, let's see whether they will return peace in that region. Mm. So, you agree with the majority opinion that is the government's collection of the artifacts that has thrown the town into incessant strife? Look, bro, the federal government took away that object in 1974. Since then, that peaceful region has turned to a perpetual war zone. For no reason, they have been killing themselves for 30 years. 30 years! Therefore, the government decided to think again. Yes. Why else? May the gods of this land protect you and the guide you as you confirm with us, our forefathers and our descendants at the same time. May the guardians of this land who watch over us from the skies above and from the soil beneath inculcate and integrate you into their inviolable circle of protection why you stay with us. Ide. May the sovereign of this land sanction your mission of peace. Ide. Ide. We, as the guardians of the Soviet Pierre, once more welcome you on behalf of the entire people of Kuduruki. We welcome you with open hearts and the hospitable spirit of our people. The, we thank you, our Father, for everything. The government has deemed it right to convey through us this message of peace and goodwill. And we hold that a hope that it will go a long way towards the elimination of this unending conflict that has ravaged this country or land for a period of 30 years. It is we who should be grateful, my children, that at long last, government has decided to heed our cries of pain. By deciding to return to us the symbol of the gods of our forefathers, the removal of which has amassed this soil in perpetual bloodshed these many years. We are welcome. We are grateful. Thank you. Let us go in to lend that to uh, Alabi Kukuruku, the god of our land. The god of peace and tranquility. The gods of the sky and the soil. 
what right we belongs to him yeah. and to her. The God of the Son, God of the Soil, the God of the Land, the God of Peace. Right here before you, you have visitors. I'm sorry. As soon as the military men who came on a peacekeeping mission to our land took away the sacred symbol. Our sacred deity visited our soil because our fathers have not kept his resting place sacred. Rather, for fear of their lives, they had abandoned it to a pack of our violent and rebellious sons. Therefore, he or she made their lives not one living anymore. But who are we to blame, if not us, for letting our violent sons in this cave in the first place? Yes, yes. That alone, it was the situation, if not. So, we are grateful to the Supreme Almighty for the return of the symbol. But there is still something we don't understand. The things that transpired here then. How did the military lay hands on this symbol? The things that happened at that time. These questions continue to arise in our hearts. These are questions I should have answered. The military body that took away the sacred symbol in 1974 was under my command. Under your command? Yes, sir. That is the major significance of my presence here today. So returning as it has been taken. Thank you. Yes. Um, my daughter, please tell us everything that has taken place. It is a tale of some length, Papa. A story of deep emotion and a blood shed. No. No. Tell us. Tell us everything the way it happened. We are the custodians of this great kingdom. If Alabi Kukuruku should rise up tomorrow, we are the people to pacify him. Yes. yes. So my daughter, tell us the whole story. Don't conceal anything from us. Everything. Mm. In December 1973, a group of disgruntled youths organized themselves and adopted a party of two government OE executives on a tour of inspection. They then proceeded to demand an treasure sum as a ransom. Following this event, I, who at that time a captain in the army, was sent in a detachment of elite troops to keep things under control in this area. We encountered so many problems 
But the biggest of them all was this. These youth were armed and they were shooting. They struck our supply patrol. We have two men dead, four men injured, and one man is still missing. Hell. These youths are biting off more than they can chew. I shall have to propose an attack to the hard command tomorrow morning. This just cannot go much longer. But sir, you know we're here to keep peace. And please don't forget that I... Not at this cost. We just have to do something. Bring me a formal report on this as soon as possible. Yes, sir. This is good. 
to my secretary for duplicating. Very fine, very Send this to the fourth form. Direct to Colonel Yakubu. We must get a reply before dusk. Yes, sir! This place. Yes, sir. That was a good job. That was a good job. Alright, sir. That's my baby. Anything up for dinner tonight? I am. Um, um... Just a drink. What has come over you, Koyoma? Where have you kept your gods? Have you forgotten that I am a man who counts his losses? And the rule here is banter for banter? You let the attack, Koyoma. How could you let them take one attack? And to, and to come and come, come a hot blood, and I will come a purple hot blood, and for me white veggie, put me to my face. Black python that reigns for the great people. Every mind is gone! Every horse blood to his heart! I said, one of them will be here before nightfall! Go, brother! Do, do! I'm here, I'm going. Hey! Go, do! No! Go, brother, hold your peace! Hold your peace! This is what they expect us to do. That we will be waiting for us! Sit no more, Alola! Walata must be here before nightfall. I have spoken. How can I be quiet? Dodo! How can I be quiet? When you are about to play to your hands! Since we were ten and two years, Lula. Never giving you an ill advice. I will not begin now. I will not begin today. So what have you to say, Lalula? Speak now. You speak now, Lalula. Before, before I mobilize the entire mouth and we can't go by enemies. Speak now. What if it does not work? The Lola. What if it does not work? 
this it does not work my head see us the cigarettes you've been begging for. But I know you will not cooperate with me. But I'm offering you a fair deal. Give me your base camp location and I'll spirit you away. No imprisonment. No court. A job somewhere very quiet. Away from all this fighting. Don't be a fool, my friend. This is a fight you can't hope to finish. Just cooperate with me. You're just wasting your life. Your friends don't even care about you. You see? Sojoji, Dabundi, Kamoke, Aiki, 
ayaya bako Sojoji pamda bundika mute aiki ayaya bako in the line of their duty to their nation for their people for us their sacrifice will not be in vain never be in vain Forces of the 44th Infantry Battalion hereby make a solemn promise to achieve that aim, that objective for which our comrades died. They remain forever in our hearts as we advance on a daily basis into the heat of battle, the unique battle of soldiers who fight to keep the peace. Sir, may I have permission to carry on? Carry on. Yes, you can see, now we're taking these cops back to our permanent base. I want you to behave yourself. Are we all together? Yes, yes sir. sir. Now you, 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 move this cops to the truck. Why the rest doesn't take the truck? I tried to lay hold on an, on, on an information and what do they do? They just attacked my base and escaped with the hostage. I'm just beginning to feel inadequate as a commander. You don't have to talk like that. I understand everything you're saying. No, no, honey, you don't understand me. Okay? When I talk about casualties, I mean daily fatalities. I just, I just feel like grabbing my gun and, and shoot them, all of them. Hey, Slice their throat end to end. That, Kate. God, getting on my nerves. Okay, look at it now. This is exactly how they want you to feel. 
frustrated, dejected, helpless, and just like that. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I know, okay, but he doesn't make the feeling go away. Listen, Kate, what you need right now is a clear head, a sound unclouded judgment. Sweetheart, you need a calm mind. Those boys are strategists, and it's much clearer now. Yes, yes, I know. It just became obvious to me when I noticed that I, ca I can't even track them down. I, I don't even know where their traps are. I, ca I can't even make it out. I don't know. And you know the worst part of it? The high command is just holding me back. They don't want me to attack. They're just keeping me waiting. I don't know. They're just trying to frustrate me. They're keeping me waiting. The way you've been keeping my boss waiting. Please, Ray, shut up. Keep quiet. Oh, you don't want to hear about that one. Shut up. Okay, Your Majesty, what exactly do you want to hear? Talks about our feelings, emotions, and. <laughs> now you talk. Uh huh. Yes. You're jacking. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you something, honey. What? Why don't you ever get tired of hearing me tell you just how much I love you? Alright. You want to hear that, right? Sure, sure. It's just like, you know, asking me to get tired of hearing you tell me how much you love me. It's just like, you know, am I asking you to do the same thing? Do you think I can ever do that? <laughs> Look, Jojo, it is impossible for me to cover my margin of cost with this new outrageous price you demand. Your margin of cost and profit has nothing to do with me. Baraja, day by day, the military empower themselves increase their number in our region which makes business very difficult for us See tribes. <laughs> Dodo -do the Dread Warrior. Yeah, you know. Always the Black Python. Dodo! Mm. Let us end that. Ten naira, fifty copper. I believe like that. Not like that. Yeah. Let us stop packing like women now. Dodo, seven naira. Nine naira it is then. You or your bandit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Done. You see pirates. Swaffer, swaffer for water. Swaffer. Don't do the great for you. It is a deal.
I sent a record team which confirmed this information and came up with this draft map. In as much as our main objective is to pick as many prisoners as possible, we shall risk no casualties. I repeat, we shall risk no casualties. Instruct your men. Any resistance, open fire. Team A will be led by Sergeant Archibald. Yes, sir. Team B will be led by Sergeant Okoye. Sir. And C will be under me. Usain. Sir. You will assist me in C. Oh, no. You are present in this briefing so as to take over if I follow the line of duty. Now, to the briefing program. So, gentlemen, synchronize your watches. We strike at dawn. Zero five zero zero hours. This operation code name SWIP is under my command. So inform your radio man. If at any time during our point of silent entry, any team encounters unexpected opposition, you should immediately set up rapid H and R firm. And the rest of the team will go under that diversion. Any questions? No. Captain, I have been sent to dispatch your orders from the High Command. Good. Direct from Colonel Yakub. As soon as the orders came in, I was sent here by Major Williams. The attack has not been authorized. What? All plans for proposed assault should be seized from with. Rush! Absolutely rush! What does he mean by that? Please, please, my love. Don't feel as if they are trying to frustrate your efforts. They are only working with their own understanding of the situation. Which is rubbish. Absolute rubbish. They are not the ones out there on the front line. It's me. It's not like Colonel Yakubu or Major Williams out there. For Christ's sake, Ray, I am the Army's foremost expert on peacekeeping in volatile regions. It's me that is under fire. That is why I'm handling the, the, the command. I don't know why my own opinions and impressions are calling so much. Why? Kate, Kate. See, there's, 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 this I want. The, you know, I want to. I want hey, to hey, listen, listen, Ray, listen. Do you think I enjoy reporting fatalities on a daily basis? I don't. These are my men we're talking about here. I have my men to protect. I just get one of these days, I might as well risk one cut smash That is what I Wait! Want. Yes, honey. What did you just say? That got you, didn't it? <laughs> I was just joking. Ah. Oh, Kate, you do think your business isn't mine, don't you? Huh? I never said anything to imply that. Okay, okay, okay. Now, let us put the shoe on the other foot. Kate will run adults. I had my basic education and you and I know where we stand in this our chosen profession. For Christ's sake, Kate, considering our rights, this is a very unusual relationship. And I'm the one bearing it blunt. Or maybe my problems don't even concern you. Why would you say that? Huh? Why do you think that of me? Ray, I consider your problem as mine. Okay? It's just that you, you can't even rely on me. Sometimes I, I, I get the impression that you're, you're just being so self-conscious with me. I can't force you to tell me what you don't want to tell me. I can't. All right. I'm sorry, okay? I think I understand better now. See, it's, 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 um, it's just that it's getting to me. Ray, listen. In your my entire world, my whole world revolves around you. I love you. I know. <laughs> I know very much that you love me. It's just that it's beginning to get to me. Get to me. 
Yeah, it's definitely. What are you talking about? Kate, the major wants you. He wants you and you know it. Okay? But what you have not realized is that he's beginning to watch me too. He's beginning to make me feel like a soldier under a searchlight. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe maybe he, he heard about us one way or the other. And now he, be, he sees me as, a, as an obstacle to his getting you. And you know what that is for me? I'm so sorry about that. He's beginning to watch me very closely now. I'm, I'm, ju I'm just... I have gone yesterday. Okay, sending me with other is still part of the ploy. I fell for it even though I knew all this. I fell for it. Okay, how could I have gone? When my urge to spend every spare minute with you is just getting stronger and stronger by the day, okay? Well, you should have gone yesterday. Okay. Oh. I love you. Katerina, and it's no joke. But I love you, I feel that I love you. True love knows no wrath. Couple look at it. I love you. That's what matters. Mm -hmm. love, you. love is all that matters. I'm okay reporting for duty as your oddly son. You failed to report yesterday. Yes, sir. Sir, I... I, I sent you to Captain Winners of Borokri Camp to dispatch an order. It took you two days to dispatch a simple order. The troops I sent with you reported since yesterday. My inquiries show you are mixing business with pleasure and pleasure with business. Sir, I will, uh, I, I, Corporal Raymond Mokedi. Sir, you are treading on dangerous grounds. Very dangerous grounds. Steer clear. Your reward for this cross in relation of duty is a two day inclusion on the frog to tip list. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My love, how are you doing out there? You are fine, I hope. You promised me you, you would take care of yourself. Please, I hope you are doing so. I know you spend most of your time worrying about your soldiers. I spend most of my days out here worrying about you. These days, I miss you so much, it's almost like an illness. I wonder what's happening to me, Kate. Yesterday, I reached the conclusion that I had become lovesick to have spent an extra day at Oborikiri knowing what I knew about the Major's feelings for you. It was crazy of me, really. You're dying to find out what happened when I got back here. Are you not? Well, nothing much happened, even though I can't in all honesty say I found what I got back here funny at all. Anyway, it's all behind me now. But it still goes to bear out what I hold you out someone bearing the brunt of our relationship. At the end of the day, the uppermost fact in my mind is our love. It's the light at the end of my tunnel. You're my life. Please bear this in mind each day you step out on petrol in the front lines. Two people's lives are in your hands now. For I love you with more than my heart. It's my entire life. Kate. Please take care of yourself for me. Goodbye, my love. God bless and protect you. Raymond.
no, 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 it's not. You want a bet? Uh, please. <laughs> anyway, um, thanks for the meal and the opportunity to unwind. Hmm. I've had a lot on my mind lately. Oh, my pleasure. My own pleasure. Watching you on wine has been unbelievably pleasurable for me. There you go again. Really? Yes. Honest. I only wish we could have more time like this to spend together. Tell me, you say you have had a lot of things on your mind lately. Why don't you put some of those things into perspective? Hmm? I'd love to help you look into them. I really care about you. One question, Pam. All right, ask. Do you promise to be frank with me? Frank. I said promise. What? I promise. Tell me. If I were to tell you that I have something to do with a soldier directly or indirectly with you, would your relationship with that person change? <laughs> I'm enjoying your frankness today. At last we're getting somewhere. I have fallen seriously in love with you. If you were to say yes to me, me today, I'll marry you. God knows. You are the utmost importance to me. What do you expect me to do when I suddenly discover the reason why you have not been forthright with me is my own ugly. Please, Frank. He is not the reason why I have not been forthright with you. He is not. But it's relevant. Well, yes. yes. Look around you, Kate. Really look at you and I. Our future together. I'm offering you happiness. Stability, good life. I love you, Kate. With all my heart. I'm offering you affection, adoration. Just say you'll marry me today. And I'll make you mine forever. Just say yes. For some time now, you've been looking so distracted and worried. What's the problem? It's my boss, Kate. What about him? Lately, he has become so withdrawn and irritable with me. As if he watches and waits for me to make a mistake. There used to be this cordiality that existed between the two of us. All that is gone now. I get punished almost on a daily basis. God, I knew this would happen. It's about us, isn't it? Yes, my love. All about us. He knows. I know that he knows. It's not as if he just knows, okay? He's in love with me. Yes, I said it. I had always known he desires you. But honey, it has gone beyond that. He proposed to me three nights ago. He did? And what did you tell him? I just told him to give me some time to think about it. Kate. Yes, love. You want to consider him, don't you? Ray, how can you say that? How can you think that I, I would consider him? Ray, listen, it is you that I want, okay? If I had told him yes, 
It, it would have meant me deceiving myself knowing fully well how much I feel about you. And at the same time, if I had said no, he would come after you, tooth and nail. And I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. God, Katie, just run me in my head. I'm so hopelessly in love with you now that... Hey, each time I remember he's in the picture, I feel so small. God, so self-conscious. I mean, how do I hope to measure up? He's my boss. Hey, 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 listen, baby. I know he is in the picture, okay? Yes. But he is just on the fringes. Listen, it is you that I love. I wish I can just open up my heart so that you could see the depths of my love for you. You just, you just put down your feet and relax, knowing fully well that he is there. But at the same time, baby, he is not there. It is you that I love, okay? I love you so much. Hmm? Anything the matter? Everything is the matter, including your tactics. Tactics? Frank, how could you be this dirty? What are we talking about here? Corporal Raymond Mocked, that's who. Jesus Christ. That's why you address me before your men like this? That is none of your business. I had nothing to do with that boy's transfer. The transfer list came down from the high command. Oh, please, come off it, Major. You are the high command. Oh, that's what you think? Unfortunately, you are wrong there. Oh, as a matter of coincidence, his transfer happens to get to him just immediately you felt we were getting too close for comfort. Oh, stop this nonsense. When did the boy become immune to the front lines? 
Now listen, this is the army, not some love camp. Oh, all right, Major Williams. This is the army. Thanks for reminding me. Okay, tell me what you think of the fighting spirit of a soldier who sends a woman to fight on his behalf. For your information, Major Williams, the soldier in question does not know what I'm here to do, in case you tell him. Because as it is, there is nothing beyond you now. Is that what you think? It is what I know. Now you tell me, Major Williams, what do you think of the fighting spirit of a soldier who sends another soldier into war just because of his selfish interest? Tell me. Every time swafa swafa for water. Son of Yavio, the great dodo. Kuroko. It's a deal. We can do business. The bill I say, you don't know what thing they happen for this camp self. Please tell me something. The OC replaced Ilochi with her own boyfriend. You mean the OC? Yes. With her own boyfriend? Yes, of course. Incredible. Emir Kopralo, who was the major's uh, oddly, now she converted him and turned him into her own oddly. <laughs> you must be the only man who doesn't know about all these things in this, in this camp now. Why do you know these things? Are? These things are public knowledge by now. Okay, I'm going to go back, Jare. Uh, please be, be fast there. Eh? No problem. Fast. As I told you, sir, we've been unable to trap those oil bandits. And they seem to be sensing all our traps and ambushes. These days, they don't even attack us as frequently as they used to. Any of the oil sea smugglers apprehended yet? None so far, sir. I don't like this. It smells too fishy. Has uh, any of the patrol reports come in yet? Um, yes, sir. I'm expecting my oddly to bring it in any time from now. Good day, sir. Good afternoon, Corporal. I'm here with this patrol report, Captain. Captain Katrin Nguyene from the High Command of the 44th Battalion. You have been withdrawn from the Oborikri Peacekeeping Military Task Force. Your duties as the Commanding Officer of the Oborikri Temporary Military Occupation Force therefore ceases until further notice. Your relief from the post takes effect as soon as Lieutenant Abdul Karim, your replacement, arrives. Signed, Colonel Yakubu, on behalf of the High Command, the 44th Battalion.
So the lieutenant has gotten himself a new oddly. Yes, he has. My name has even been transferred onto the patrol list. So I went on patrol today. You went on patrol? Yep. With which team? The Archibong's Bay team. Oh, that must have been the Azim jungle. Yeah, that's our patrol area. Oh. Yeah. Tell me about it. Well, it was quite exciting, even though frightening at times. Um, nothing much was really happening until we got to a certain stream. Um, That's the Ibia Sebwe stream. Okay. So suddenly, from the trees came this heavy rat-tat-tat sound with explosions from grenades. Man, you can't believe it, honey. Two men fell beside me. <laughs> men who were alive a split second before. Oh. God! I nearly stood in my panties. <laughs> it wasn't this funny when it was happening though, because my, my teeth were rattling like those of a convulsing child. <laughs> you know, it was your first time. Mm, it's your yeah. first patrol. Even Sergeant Tachibon was saying it. He said I was being braver than most new patrol men. At least I did not faint dead. <laughs> <laughs> He's correct. Ray. My love. Ray, um, I've been ordered back to the base. And I'll leave first thing tomorrow morning. I can't delay anymore. My God. Kate. Yes, love. So what do you expect me to? What am I going to do now? Huh, Kate? You know I'm going, I'm, I'm going to terribly miss you. Listen, honey. I'll miss you even more, okay? I miss you so much. God. And you're going back to the headquarters. Back to him, Kate. Please, Ray. Forget about him. He's not important here. Just forget him, please. I'm still worried about you. Listen, no. listen, listen. I am worried the more. It's you out there on the front lines and me back to the base. God knows I'll miss you so much. There's no need to worry about me. It's not going to help matters. Ray. Yes, my love. Promise me something. What? Yes, it's sweet. Promise me you take care of yourself for me. Just the same way I took care of myself for you. I promise. I will come back to you safely, okay? God, I'm already missing you. God, you stay with me till dawn. Yes, I'm going to be with you. We're going to be together for as long as we possibly can, okay? It's just that, you know, I can't even sleep a wink without, without you beside me. Of course, my arms are going to be around you till dawn. Okay? Mm, I All love right. you. Let's go to bed. I have come to show appreciation. Appreciation for your great and continuous protection. Thank you, Alabi. Thank you. Thank you. Alabi! 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 Deco, 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 deco. Hey! Ego, 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 
Jai! You got a veggie. I greet you. I am here. I have come. This is the Black Python. Do, do. I'm Ariel your servant. Whatever I do, you are with me. Wherever I go, go with me. I'll mention your name. I know you are the master. I know you to protect me. I know you guide me. Anyone that suits me cannot enter. Anyone that's not making a reach. Anything I want to make you give. Tell her on you. Go, go, go. Eh? Ha, 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 ha. Hi! Arabia! Arabia! Yes! With you! I know I was stronger than ever! Stronger than everyone! about it. You have been surrounded by our men. Drop your guns! Collect their weapon! Always very worried about Raymond after I had left to Borokiri. So as soon as the casualty and the missing lips came out on the base notice board, I went to check with the hope that my ring was safe. So madam, eh? your husband's name is Daddy List. I don't see his name more. His name is no Daddy. Uh, my, I never seen my husband for how many days now. I thank God for you, Mr. Eh? I say I thank God for you. Eh. That means your husband still that alive. Eh? Yes, he go there active duty again. Hey, wait, you say, you say your husband that alive. Eh. Eh, he go still that active duty. Me, I don't know now. As I know see him, name me, yeah, what can I go do? Eh, make him go. Hey. Yes. Yeah. Hey. Me, I don't know. Eh, make him go. Eh? Oh! 
So this day, I cannot accurately, appropriately put in words the depth of emotion that flooded within me. I don't just know what to do. It became really, really obvious to me that I cannot live without women. So what did you finally decide to do, my daughter? What I finally decided to do was something that hadn't occurred to me at that time. I went to visit Mrs. Anuka, the military widow neighbor of mine. I'm so worried. I don't know what to think anymore. I'm so afraid. What could have happened to him? He said, no. My child. No. Don't cry. He is safe. Huh? Please, I beg you. Please let him be alive. Just let him not kill him. Let him not kill him for me, God. Please. My God. Please. What? He will be safe. We have prayed for his safety. Have we not? Yes, we have. But auntie, things are not a thing. What are those things? What is it? What is it? Sorry, sorry. Uh, it, it is me. Yes, Ben, it is me. Uh, don't, 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 don't. Try and pay the money to them, please. Ben, these people are, are determined. Benny, they, they, they are determined to kill us. Oh. We are making effort to get the money ready. How can we get it across to them? I, I, what I, is the place we can bring the money to? I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. Please try. Pay the money. I don't know. Look here. Look here. Look. I shall give you 60 days. Get that money ready. If after six days that money is not dropped at a particular place and time, you I will follow give instructions. Uh. I will kill you. I will kill you. Uh. I, I am going to. Yeah. I will. Uh. You love me. You go be. You go be. You go be. Sorry. You have been with the first week, Banta. I'm sorry. Banta, Banta, I will show them Banta too. I'm sorry. Please, sorry. You have been with the swamp. Please, I'm sorry. Swamp. I'm sorry. Check. Look who. One plus swamp back in the baba. Benja. Hmm. Are the bullets okay? Yes, sir. All right, let's see what you have in the other part of the radio room. Okay, sir. You have the conversation on tape, haven't you? I have it, sir. And here it is. Send a copy of the tape to Colonel Yakubo. Okay, sir. Send another copy to Lieutenant Abel Karim. Okay, sir. Everyone should know what we're up against. Okay, sir. Good luck. According to the Major's recent instructions, this Borikiri camp has become off limits for you. Besides security reasons, and your personal safety as the reasons for these instructions. Excuse me, Lieutenant. What does he mean by security reasons? 
Now tell me what does it mean by that? As for personal safety, let no one forget that I was once the commanding officer of this base. So what now is someone trying to protect me from that hasn't killed me? Now tell me, what is it? I can understand you, Captain. But those are the Major's instructions. And these days, he has become very touchy about your personal safety. Now listen, Lieutenant. All I am here to do is to make certain inquiries about a certain soldier that was declared missing in action last week. That is all. Um, and I'm not case. Fine. Here is all I can do for you. You have two hours to make your inquiries. Then I shall detail two jeeps to take you back to the headquarters. Fine. Meanwhile, I have to radio Major Williams to inform him of your presence here as you make your inquiries. You sent for me, sir. Yes, sit down, Captain. Make yourself comfortable. I gave a standing order this morning that you are not to go to the Poborogi camp for any reason whatsoever. Did you not get this order? I did not get the order until I got to the Oborokiri base, sir. Is that the truth, Captain? Nothing but the truth, sir. Fine. The road to the Buruki camp is becoming extremely risky because of increased banditry. Even the camp here has become a dead zone. Yet you decided to flout my orders to protect you. I don't think I understand you, sir. Captain Abdul Karim is an officer. And he is out there at the Oborokiri all the time. You're almost out there on daily basis. Colonel Yakubu was even there yesterday. So none of you are valuable officers of the Federal Republic anymore? Sir, if you must issue orders, please issue them for professional reasons and not personal reasons. I did not summon you to my office to ritualize or theorize. I summoned you to my office to give you a warning. Anytime you flout my orders again, you shall be caught, my child. Is that clear? Yes, sir. You're dismissed. Is that all they said, Sergeant? Yes, Captain. That's all that was said. Was there any mention of other hostages? I mean military ones. No, Captain. But from the entire radio conversation, did you get the impression that there were any other hostages? Well, no, Captain. <sighs> all right, Sergeant Tunorga. You've been of great assistance. You're welcome, Captain. Please do not hesitate to... Call on me if you need help in further inquiries. All right. I shall not hesitate. You're welcome. Thank you. Now, this is where we are. And we move up this route. We have this route and it brings us to the mountain. It is here we have the Azim jungle. We move to this flank and this is where you have a cave. At this cave, it is believed this is where the bandits are. And we must dislodge them. The High Command has approved Operation Thunderbolt, a lightning strike that's meant to dislodge the bandits from their base at the Kukuruku Mountains. And we have an ultimatum of six days. Captain? Sir? You are in this briefing on consultative grounds by virtue of the fact that you're an expert in peacekeeping in volatile territories. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Fine. We are running on very limited time. Everything starts immediately. We cannot afford to slow down another attack. Now we have a five-day period. Now, Lieutenant. Sir. 
500 special airborne troops have been stated to arrive in three days time to beef up your forces in preparation for Operation Thunderbolt. They are arriving with uh, 15 SMS attack helicopters and that will help us dislodge these bandits where they are. But before then, you are now aware that the bandits, they have a small garrison at the foot of the Kukuruk Mountains. Are you? Can you see where? Good. That is where we shall attack first. Any questions? Um, sir, so are you saying this is where we strike our open? These red marks are the traps. Oh, you mean we have to put extra efforts here? Yes, that's where the traps are. It's not going to be an easy journey, but then with your military training, you should know how to operate. We are going to keep on reinforcing for this zone, reinforcing until we dislodge them. Good. So, um, we will need to study this. We will need to study this. That's why we must go study it. How can this be happening to us? My God, where are you? Where are you, my love? How can this be? After all we've been through together. After all we've planned to get you together. Ray, the only thing keeping me alive today is the hope. My love. That desperate hope that, that you are alive somewhere. That you've remained alive for me. Ray, please. Please be alive for me, please. You summoned me, sir. Yes, I was informed you were heading out to the base at the Berkeley. Yes, sir. I received a letter of order from the High Command instructing me to assist Captain Abdul Karim in Thunderbolt. And as you said, we're running on limited time. I know, Kate, I know. Sit down, please. Let me make you a proposition. I know you're running out of room for him. But please, listen to me first. God knows I, I really, really fought at the high command to have you placed off this mission. I am hopelessly in love with you. And that's why I gave orders you are not to go to a broker. Because it would have been unthinkable, unbearable for me if anything happened to you. I needed to protect you from yourself, from your passions for him. And what's your proposition, sir? Listen, Kate, I, I want you to delay your movement to Belgrade for four more days. I have excuses to make for you until the Thunderbolt project is underway. I will take care of the records. Your invitation never arrived on time. And I promise you, the next list for the promotion your name will be out as a major. I understand your proposition, sir. And the motives behind it. You love me. Yes, sir. You know, that's someone I have been looking forward to spending the rest of my life with. I couldn't think about allowing you go out there to jeopardize your life. I understand, sir. But unfortunately, sir, this is the army. And not some love count. Okay, please. I thank you very much for your tempting proposition. But it's rather too tempting. So juicy to accept. How long will you punish me over this broken case? Please, Kate. I'm so sorry to disappoint you, sir. But I'm not that cheap. 
I'm afraid I have to leave now. And as you can see, I have an attack to commend. Please don't go in. And we're running on limited time. Please. Please don't go. I'm trying to protect you for us. Lieutenant Abdul Karim, Lieutenant Abdul Karim coming for MJ, over. This is LAB receiving, this is LAB receiving, over. The captain is not a part of Thunderbolt. The captain is not a part of Thunderbolt, over. Message is sent, over. Out now, thank you. Look, Captain, I have seen your letter of order, but I received a contrary order from the Major. In any case, Hussaini and his boys are already in place, waiting for darkness to fall for them to attack. Mm. You're already at that, you know. What? But I'm part of the main attack, Lieutenant. And I'm authorized to be part of Thunderbolt. Don't you understand? I'm sorry you're not, Captain. Until I confirm from the Major himself. All right, then radio the base so that I'll talk to him personally. Unfortunately, the radio at this base is out. I can't transmit to Senis attack team. Now back the base. Go away. Listen, Lieutenant. Let's just address this issue once and for all, okay? Let's get to the base together. And let me hear Major Williams contravene to the other, the colonel's orders. Captain, can't you understand this thing? Can't you just try and understand it? Listen, listen, let's not just push this thing any further. Let's not push it any further. Just do as I say. Okay, fine, 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 fine. All right. Come on. Make a remit for a transmission. Okay, sir. Boss, let's go. Captain Winnie. 
Why are you doing this to me? Why have you refused to feel the same way about me? I know you begin to love me sometime. You have feelings for me. I can see that whenever we are together. I know you begin to love me sometime. You will. Now wait a minute. Will this work? I hope it does. I just hope it does. I am desperate to have that girl in my arms. Yes. This is he who should know. This is he who should know. Over. This is he who should know. Over. This is he who should know. This is he who should know. Over. Let's no harm before the female prisoner. Let's no harm before the female prisoner. Over and out. Let's see. Over. I think you would wish to meet the captain that ordered the attack that attuted Koroma and made away with Walata. In fact, as I speak to you now, we have already received a radio message from he who should know better regarding to the fate of the soldier. is a she, not a he. Yeah! Ikuma! Umbre! Alabi! Tukurubu! Ay! Alabi! Ay! Tukurubu! Ay! Tukurubu! was right after all.
So you have refused to reveal the information to me, eh? Good. Very good. Namasuri. Na, na yeah, I'll admit it. Only mm. what is it? Mm. Now I repeat. What are your plans against me? Captain Catherine Wing. Fifteen, six, eight, four. So, you do not want to speak to me, eh? Now tell me for the last time. What plans have you to attack my crew? Captain. Catching wind. Fifteen, six, eight, four. You never speak to me, huh? Huh? If you do not speak to me now, I shall let you suffer. Oh, 
Best that any woman can give to any man in the world. Oh, I miss you, my love. Oh, my love, my love. Kate, I my promise to you, my love, forever. I love you. She, I promise you, my love, for all eternity. Oh my God. Oh my love. I promise my love to you for all eternity. And let this be the symbol of my commitment. Forever. It's Asked for more happiness. Then he appeared. Who, my child? The military structure that uncovered all our strategies to the bandits. A figure they think he who should know better has come to the camp of the enemy to negotiate. <laughs> As you can see, my khaki friend, she's unharmed. Now, let me have the plans for the thunderbolt attack you promised to offer to me. What? You? So you are the hero? How dare you? How dare you negotiate with these bandits? Hey, hey, my relation. In this life, things are not always what they seem to be. It's time for business, it's time for pleasure. I'm here to save you. It's business. Very well, Dodo. Here are the plans for the. Let me see them.
Let's take the Godhead symbol. It will protect us. The Godhead? What yes. do you mean? If we move bearing it with us, anybody who sees us will run away. The belief is that the God is with us. Are you sure of what you're saying? I am a soldier from the left village. I know what I'm talking about. Let's take it. Are you sure? Yes. I'm sure of what I'm saying. Alright. Hey, you guys, just stand by, okay? We rescued the hostages and the gun to disappear to the mountain. My daughter, your story is everything you said it would be. Now we understand. My daughter, we are deeply grateful. On behalf of the government, the armed forces and the forty-fourth battalion. I have I relinquish the symbol of the God state of Alabe Kukuru. On behalf of the people of Ebuki and the seven towns of the entire Ebuki Kingdom. The three elevated priests to the Alabiku Kuruku. I receive the sacred symbol of the God head. Um, my daughter. He and she has placed you here to keep it back from where you collected it. Come forward and have it. Don't hesitate, my daughter. Yes. Banish fear from your mind. Yes. God of the soul, God of the land, Alabi, you are welcome. Um, my 
people. We are grateful. We thank you very much. You can now go. Thank you.